Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Leanne here. It is Sunday, May 10th, and today is a special day. I hope you have remembered to tell your mother or anyone who you feel like is a mother to you, Happy Mother's Day, and that you've been extra special nice to them. And let's start our children's chapel today with our get ready prayer. You guys repeat after me. God, our hearts are open to you. God, you know everything about us. Send your Holy Spirit to help us to be close to you so that we can love you and praise you. Amen. All right. I want everybody to um, go ahead and get seated. We're gonna get our wiggles out. We're gonna wiggle our fingers and we're gonna wiggle our shoulders and we're gonna wiggle our bodies. And then after you've done all your wiggling, I want you to take a deep breath in like this. And then let it out. And fold your hands and sit and put them in your lap. And we're going to get ready for our opening song. And by the way, um, after our opening song, our gospel of the day is being read by Father Worth today. And then we'll have our picture book and the rest of our children's chapel service afterward. Good to see you all today. Okay, let's do our welcome song. Um, we're just going to sing it all the way through we're, together. We're not going to take turns like we normally do at church. It's a little hard to do on the video. So I will start and you guys sing along with me so I don't have to sing all by myself. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good job, everybody. Hey, everybody, it's Father Worth. Uh, I'm here in the chapel. Uh, I'm by myself today, uh, but I just want to let you know I can't wait for us to all be back in the chapel together uh, for Children's Chapel the way we know and love. But today I'm going to read you the gospel lesson. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Jesus told his disciples, don't let yourself be worried about things. Trust in God and trust in me. Did you know God's house has a room for everyone? I'm going to go to, the, to that place and make sure it's ready for you. And then I'll be back to bring you there myself, even though you already know the way there. The disciple named Thomas said, Lord, how do we already know the way there when we don't even know where you are going? Jesus answered, of course you know the way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. You come to me and will have your way to the heavenly father. If you really know me, you will know my father too. Then the disciple named Philip said to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father. That is all we need, and then we'll stop bugging you about it. Jesus answered, Philip, how long have I been with you all, and you still don't know who I am? If you've seen me, then you've seen the Father too. Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? And the things I speak, they aren't my own words. They belong to the Father. All the work I do is in the Father's name. Whatever you ask the Father for in my name, I will do it. That's how close the Father and I are. The Father lives in me, and he is doing his own work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, I hope you all are doing well. 
Um, like I said earlier, I do miss you. Um, I hope that you'll remember these three things this week. God loves you. I love you. And the Church of the Nativity loves you. We'll see you next time. Today, our book is The Wonderful Book. The author is, and I, the author and the illustrator, that person did both the words and the pictures, Leonid Gore. And it says that it is for book lovers everywhere, big and small. And I bet we're all book lovers, big and small. So I'm going to read, and then I'm going to hold the pages up for you to see afterward. One sunny day, a rabbit saw something wonderful while hopping about in the forest. What is this? he asked. I think it will make a cozy little house for me. What does that rabbit see? Do you think that that book is going to make a house for that rabbit? Let's see. So, he wriggled inside and he stayed there until a big growly bear came along and the bear said, grrr, that's mine. It will make a pretty hat for me. And there goes the rabbit. And the bear put it on his head and strutted happily about the forest. That's a pretty silly hat, I have to say. But the bear lost his hat while he stopped for a snack. And soon a family of mice found it. What is this? What is this? What is this? I saw the little mice. It will make a perfect table for us. It looks like the bear found some raspberries and there's the mice who found the book. So the mice ate their dinner and then they scampered away. That's a great table for mice. sunset, a tired little fox came along. What is this? asked the tired little fox. It will make a comfortable bed for me. I don't know how that fox is going to make a bed out of a hard book. Let's see. Soon he fell fast asleep and had sweet, happy dreams all night long. He got inside the pages and made it like a little bed, made it a cover for him. The next morning, a hungry little worm slithered by when he spied something in the distance. So he hurried over to take a closer look. There's that little worm, he's really cute. Not quite sure what the fox is doing with the book. But worms are very slow and it took him till noon to get there. What a tasty looking flower, said the little worm. It will make a delicious lunch for me. But just as he was about to take a big bite, he must have thought it was a flower because it, the Maybe the fox tried to hide it with leaves, I'm not sure, but then maybe the worm thought these petals, these, the book cover was red petals, I'm not sure. But just as he was about to take a big bite, along came a curious boy. Look at this, said the boy, it's a book. I wonder what it's about. So the boy found the book and he knew what it was. So he sat down and he began to read. And soon 
everyone gathered around to listen. They listened as he read about a little rabbit and a big grumpy bear. He read about some hungry mice and a tired little fox. And he read about a little pink worm and a curious little boy and much, much more. What a wonderful book, said the boy. And everyone agreed. The end. So that book, I don't know about you, but that book reminds me of the gospel a little bit today because in the gospel, the disciples don't seem to understand that G what Jesus is trying to tell them. He's trying to tell them that he is God. He is part of God and God is part of him. And they don't really seem to understand this. They, they keep saying, show us, and then we'll stop bugging you about it. Well, in the book today, our picture book today, the animals, they didn't understand what a book was. They all looked at the book and they didn't know what it was until the boy came along and the boy showed them what a book was. And that's kind of like how Jesus was showing him how he was part of God the Father and God the Father was part of him. I thought that was a really good book today. I love the pictures in it. I hope you liked it too. Our next um, part of our children's chapel will be all of our creeds and our confessions. And we will get started on that in just a minute. Okay, our children's creed. We're gonna say this together. And I'm going to do the words again where they go across the bottom of the screen. You ready? I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the spirit who comes to teach us what to do. I believe that we can be kind and gentle, Lord like thee. And now our children's confession. Sometimes we hurt each other a lot. There are things we can fix and there are things we cannot. God is kind and will show us the way to heal the hurt in God's time and in God's way. Now our kids, prayers of the people, I want y'all to repeat after me for this one. We pray for people who are sick or sad or poor. We pray for people who don't have enough food to eat. We pray for people who don't have homes. We pray for our families and our friends. We pray for our Nativity family. We pray for Father Michael, for Father Worth, for Mother Susan, for Mother Rosie, and for Deacon Bob. We thank you for all of our blessings. And if you all would like to add a special prayer, go ahead and add that now. And now let's line, I'm um, sorry, I was going to say let's line up just like we do when we are at um, Children's Chapel at church. But let's say our Lord's Prayer together. And again, I know I've told you this before, but you guys are so good at it. Um, you all almost all know it by heart. So let's say it together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hey, it was really good to see you today. I cannot wait to see you again in person. I hope you enjoyed today's gospel with Father Worth and you enjoyed our picture book, the wonderful book. And we will see you again. Bye.